Protein Simple is proud to introduce Milo, the world's first single cell resolution Western blotting platform. The following video will cover how to settle cells on SC West chips, how to run SC West chips using Milo, and subsequently, how to probe the SC West chips for your protein targets of interest. After that, just scan your chip on a microarray scanner and analyze the images with Scout. SC West chips need to be hydrated prior to use. Remove an SC West chip from its canister and place in a clean Petri dish, gel side up. Add 15 milliliters of suspension buffer to the dish and let the chip rehydrate for at least 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, tilt the dish at a 45 degree angle and aspirate the suspension buffer away. Be careful not to touch the gel with the pipette tip. After you've prepared your single cell suspension of 10,000 to 100,000 cells in a total volume of one milliliter, pipette it directly onto the surface of the gel using a back and forth motion to ensure that the chip is evenly covered. The key parameters affecting chip microwell occupancy are cell concentration and settling time. Refer to your protocol for more details. After your cells have settled on the SC West chip for five to 15 minutes, tilt the Petri dish at a 45 degree angle and aspirate off the cell suspension. Then, wash away any cells that have not settled into wells by tilting the Petri dish and adding one milliliter of suspension buffer to one end of the chip. This step can be repeated if unsettled cells remain on the gel surface after inspection under the bright field microscope. There are three parameters that need to be entered before running Milo. Lysis time, electrophoresis time, and UV capture time. First, select the parameter that you want to change, and then enter the time using the keypad followed by enter. When starting a new assay, we recommend a 10 second lysis time, a 60 second electrophoresis time, and a four minute UV capture time. The lysis and electrophoresis times can then be adjusted depending on your particular protein targets. The electrophoresis voltage should always be 240 volts. To run an SC West chip, add 300 microliters of lysis buffer to one end of the chip reservoir in the electrophoresis cell. Then carefully lower the chip, gel side up, into the reservoir so that the lysis buffer wicks across the bottom with minimal air bubbles. It is important to make sure that lysis buffer does not get onto the gel surface to avoid premature lysis of your cells. We recommend checking your time parameters one last time before adding your lysis buffer to the center of one of the electrophoresis cell reservoirs. After you add all of the lysis buffer remaining in the vial to the reservoir, quickly close Milo's lid and hit run. To remove the SC West chip from the electrophoresis cell, Carefully wedge the tweezers provided with the instrument in between the edge of the chip and the edge of the chip reservoir, being careful not to damage the gel surface. Avoid touching the gel with your gloves. Much like the gel surface, it is important to keep the probing fixtures clean, free of dust and other contaminants. Add 80 microliters of your antibody cocktail solution to one end of the probing fixture reservoir. Remove the chip from the Petri dish containing wash buffer and carefully lower it gel side down, like you're applying a cover slip. You should lower your chip at an angle so that the antibody solution wicks across the gel without creating air bubbles. The chip is longer than the reservoir and the barcode on the chip should end up just outside the edge of the reservoir. To remove the SC West chip from the probing fixture, use your finger to apply pressure to one corner of the chip and gently pry up the opposite corner of the chip with the tweezers. Be careful not to damage either the gel or the probing fixture with the tweezers. Turn the chip gel side up, again being careful not to touch the gel with your gloves, and return it to a clean Petri dish containing wash buffer. You're almost done. Now just pour your buffer into a waste container and wash with water before running your next chip or storing it. To learn more, consult the Milo User Guide.